Hello guys, welcome to my new video and topic is on morphology of white blood cells. So learning objective of this topic is morphological features of WBC like neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, lymphocyte and monocyte and in features like diameter of cell and uh, nucleus is bilobed, lobed or multilobed then cytoplasm and the granules that are present in the cytoplasm of the cell. So morphological features of the various types of the WBC is studied under the microscope with stain used as Leishman stain and hematoxylin EOC that are summarized in my next slides. So first of all neutrophil. Now neutrophil that is known as poly polymorphonuclear neutrophils and it is also known as polymorphs or neutrophils and that have a morphological features like diameter. Diameter of neutrophil that varies from 10 to 14 micrometer and you can clearly see in here the image of the neutrophil and the granules of the neutrophils that take the stains both acidic and basic and the nucleus of the neutrophils is a um, 2 to 5 lobes. Now about the nu nucleus. Now the young neutrophil that has a single horseshoe shaped nucleus and which becomes lobed as the cells grows. Now the nucleus of the mature neutrophil is purple in color like this purple in color and multi lobe. You can see clearly here the nucleus of the neutrophil is a multi lobe and number varies from 2 to 6 lobe. So that is why the neutrophil is also known as polymorphonuclear leukocytes and the lobes of the nucleus are connected by chromatin filaments. So these are the chromatin filaments. Then about cytoplasm of the neutrophil that is a pale bluish in color and full of fine pinpoint granules. You can see here that is a pinpoint granules are present in all over the cytoplasm. And the granules take the both acidic and basic stains and look violet pink in color. Now the granules are lysosomal in origin and contain a variety of the enzymes that include glycosidase, sulfatase and phosphatases and nucleus and proteolytic enzymes. Now they can thus lyse any of the substances. In addition the granules liberate histamine and peroxidase enzymes will help in killing the ingested bacteria. Next cell is eosinophil. So first of all the diameter of the eosinophil is similar to neutrophil and diameter which is about 10 to 14 micrometer and the nucleus that is purple in color and mostly bilobed. About 85% of the cells have, cells have a bilobed nucleus and the lobes are connected by the chromatin strands and they look spectacle shaped and the remaining 15% of the eosinophils have a trilobed nucleus. So most probably Eosins has a 85% of the cells have a bilobed nucleus. Then about the cytoplasm. Cytoplasm is acidophilic and appears bright pink in color and it contains a coarse deep red staining granules which do not cover the nucleus. So granules that do not present over the nucleus and the granules in the eosinophil contain the basic protein and stain more intensely for peroxidase than granules in the neutrophils. Now the granules that contain histamine, lysosomal enzymes and eosinophil chemotactic factor for anaphylaxis, ECFA, eosinophil chemotactic factor of anaphylaxis. Then next cell is basophil. So diameter of the basophil that is about 10 to 14 micrometer and the nucleus of the basophil that is a irregular and may be bilobed or trilobed and its boundary is not clearly defined because of overcrowding with the coarse granules. You can see clearly the granules that are present over the nucleus and the boundary of the nucleus are not clearly defined. Then about the cytoplasm of the basophil. It is slightly basophilic and appears blue and it is full of granules and the granules of the basophil are very coarse and stain deep purple or blue with basic methylene blue dye. Then the granules are plenty and completely fill the cell and overload the Nucleus. The granules of the basophil contain heparin, histamine and 5-hydroxy tryptamine. Then comes to lymphocytes. 
so there are two types of the lymphocytes large lymphocyte and small lymphocytes majority of the lymphocytes in the peripheral blood are small but the large lymphocytes are also found and morphological features of the lymphocytes are diameter of the large lymphocytes that varies from 12 to 16 micrometer and that of the small lymphocytes from about 7 to 10 micrometer and its size is almost equal to rbc then about the nucleus the lymphocytes have a large round and single nucleus and which almost completely fill the cell so you can see here the nucleus that completely cover the cell and it stains deeply blue and giving a ink spot appearance and the nuclear chromatin that is coarsely clumped and shapeless then about the cytoplasm the cytoplasm is scanty and its amount is always less than that of the nucleus and it is seen as a crescent of clear light blue in color around the nucleus so you can see here the color of the cytoplasm is a clear crescent blue color and the cytoplasm does not contain any visible granules then functional subtypes based on their developmental background the life span and the functions the small lymphocytes have been broadly classified into three subtypes b lymphocytes and t lymphocyte so which are b lymphocyte that are processed in the bone marrow and are concerned with the humoral immunity and t lymphocytes which are processed in the thymus and concerned with the cellular immunity then natural killer cells that are lymphocyte like cells that not specifically kill any cell that is coated with immunoglobulin g and this phenomenon is known as antigen dependent cell mediated cytotoxicity and natural killer cells that provide innate immunity and they are highly cytotoxic against the tumor cells and virus infected cell now the aforementioned functional subtypes of the lymphocytes are not morphologically distinguishable but they have a distinctive surface molecules that are identifiable by immunochemical methods the natural killer cells lack identifying surface marker then about the kinetics life span and fate of lymphocytes so after processing the t lymphocytes t lymphocyte that have origin from the bone marrow but they are processed in the thymus and the b lymphocytes they are processed in the bone marrow while the b that stands for the bursa of fabricius and the site of the b cell processing in the buds that enter the circulations where they present in approximately 70 to 30 ratio now many of the lymphocytes remain in the circulation for few hours and then leak out through the venules and settle in the peripheral lymphoid tissue and which include lymph nodes spleen gut associated lymphoid tissue then lymphoid tissue associated with respiratory and urinary tract at any given time only about 2% of the body lymphocytes are in the peripheral lymphoid tissue now some of the lymphocytes re enter the blood circulation through the lymphatics and draining the peripheral lymphoid tissue in this manner they recirculate for months or years so the lymphocytes have a life span of months or year depending upon the body's need for this cell then last one is monocyte so diameter of the monocyte that is about 12 to 20 micrometer in diameter and this is this one is the largest mature leukocytes in the peripheral blood then about the nucleus the nucleus of the monocyte is large single and is eccentric in position and present on one side of the cell so they may be present at the periphery of the cell it may be notched or indented or horseshoe or kidney shaped nucleus it may appear oval or rounded in side view and the nucleus is has characteristically fine reticulated chromatin network and cytoplasm is abundant and pale blue and usually clear there is a no granules this one is a agranulocytes and sometimes it may contain fine purple dust like granules called azure granules which may be few or numerous then the kinetics of the monocyte is a less well understood than that of the granulocytes after release from the bone marrow the monocytes remain in the circulation for 10 to 20 over 40 hours and then they leave the blood to enter the extravascular tissues 
in the tissue the monocytes get converted to macrophages and form the part of the so called tissue macrophage system or also known as reticulo endothelial system in the tissue they can live for months or years unless destroyed while performing the phagocytic function thank you very much